Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. I know I done a video yesterday, or the, was it yesterday or the day before? I believe it was yesterday. And she's just going on stating certain things about, well, you know, that Facebook post came out. She, it wasn't meant to. She was meant to be uh, just going nicely and whatever. Uh, not yesterday, sorry, I believe it was on Monday I made it. And, no, it was yesterday, sorry, yes. Mars Girl in the Future, yes, sorry for that. Anyway, so, when you see everything else that's been going on, and she's there just saying all this rubbish, and in the comments, people were saying, oh, you know, I'm going to look, you know, I'm going to feel stupid, I'm going to feel, because uh, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. And I still stand by that benefit, you know, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt, if they come out and apologise, then whatever. But I don't feel stupid. I just see this now and I just start laughing. Mostly because she has a GoFundMe page up for legal fees. This has just blown my mind. She knows she's going to get sued. She knows she's going to have a uh, mailman come up to her with papers and say, Oh, here we go. Looks like someone's in trouble. And she's going to get all this and it's... And they're going to be like, yeah, you've uh, you've been served. And she's going to go, oh my god, I didn't know this was going to happen. Why would it be me? And it's funny because she's only raising $1,500 for her legal fees. And to me, I'm just thinking of it, why only $1,500? But then I decided to go into the actual GoFundMe page and have a little look what is on there. So... Hello everyone, my name is Kaylin Sakudo, a Sakidi or S Source Do. Yeah, let's call it Source Do. I have been creating online content for more than a decade and have been a large supporter of fan community culture for as long as I can remember. I will keep this as straightforward as possible to prevent any form of misunderstanding. This campaign is specifically for the base amount that is necessary for me to retain the legal services necessary for me to begin the process of a defamation suit. The defamation is against me by several individuals who have targeted me specifically for to be the recipient oh, of harassment in multiple forms. For over three months I have become the target of these individuals for standing with those who have accused a certain figure in the voice acting industry for sexual misconduct. Right, she says they are because a certain figure. This girl created the kick Vic hashtag. Come on, everyone who's going to read this knows. But... So far, she's actually reached $1,400 of the $1,500 goal. So, in my eyes, the people who are donating to her is just like, well, why? You know, I can't understand why. You, you've got some people here, you know, $5, $5, $30, $5, $40, $20. There's some guy who done $200. You know, $50, $100. It just goes on. You know, it's, it's just... Yeah, it's, I think the most is $200. So a look. Yeah, $200 is the uh, most that anyone's actually uh, pledged. 40 donations. But going through uh, the rest of her GoFundMe page, she goes, yeah, where is it? As a result, some individuals are using their platforms to launch a concentrated campaign of character assassination against myself. Oh, look at that. She's using the words that we use now because she's done it against Vic including the telling of many untruths and monetarily profiting off my image without my express permission. First of all, in the Twitter terms and conditions and terms of service, it actually does state anything that goes on there is fair game. Anyone can use it. The current amount I am listing is 1500 for the initial retainer fees for the lawyers. I have been speaking with and will be increased if the fee is met, as well as when I am introduced to a new cost from the law firm as they arise. I will be doing my best to also be paying out of my own pocket to ensure that others do not have to contribute more than necessary. The sooner this can be met, the better. As I do not have the financial means to retain these legal services on my own, I'm requesting any assistance that can possibly be procured. Any support is greatly appreciated. I will be glad to update your answers to any questions you might have as well. And it's funny because it's only got 40 donations. It's been shared 196 times on Facebook as well. But, just reading through all of that, she's she's literally grasping at straws now. 
everything she has said is completely wrong. You know, it's, she's saying that there's uh, people going against her. Well, no, we're actually, we're only saying what she has wrote herself on Twitter and Facebook and such other things. I really can't seem to grasp why she is actually doing this. Again, mostly because Vic will probably serve her. Because she's the one who started the kickvic hashtag, as we said earlier. And I just find it really funny that she's there saying that uh, people are making money off of her image without her express permission. Well, she's saying she's an online creator. Her image is going to be everywhere. You know, it's, it's on it's on YouTube. She has hundreds of videos on YouTube. And the majority of them as well are actually in the uh, permission. Where we, uh, we can actually just go into it and use it as well. It's the way she thinks that she's won here. You know, it's got some of it has got creative commons attribution. That's what she got. Which again, that can be used as fair game, you know? It's fair game for anyone to use. I don't think she realises that, or if she does, she's done it on purpose. I just find it really funny that she's asking only for fifteen hundred dollars as well. And it wouldn't surprise me if she asked for more and she doesn't use it for lawyers. That's what I think's gonna happen. She's gonna take the money and just disappear. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you soon.